what we are at is 100 degrees Celsius. So all of our values are at 100 degrees Celsius. And so we can know that every one of our states is along this line somewhere. So state one was where 0.7 bar crossed 100 degrees. Here we're at state two. And again, we know that we're about uh, 15, this distance here, we're at x equals 0.59 something. And so we're about 59% uh, uh, of the way across the dome. And then the last one, where we're um, 25 bar and um, 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, coincide here. And so those are our three states. And likewise, on our um, pressure specific volume, we have the same thing where we um, are at different pressures here. We're all at 100 degrees Celsius. So we're along this line somewhere for all three of these states. But we're, we, where it crosses uh, 70 bar here is state one, we're here 59% of way across there at state two, and here we have to extend our line further up because we didn't cross, uh, and we're here for state three. So I've drawn this a little bit better for you and have all the values put on here, and we can see this. Um, so we know state one has a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, a pressure of 70.7 bar, and then a specific volume of 2.434 uh, meters cubed per kilogram. And we can, you know, find our internal energy and our in enthalpy and so on um, using our uh, charts as well. And then the PV diagram over to the right here, we can see our three states listed on there and the values of specific volume that relate to that and... Uh, and our isotherms, uh, the temperature lines that match that. So hopefully this helped understand how you get values off of the tables and a little bit about how we look at temperature uh, specific volume or TV and PV pressure volume uh, diagrams. So just noting that all of the temperature, um, and the temperature specific volume, all of our lines you know, start down, go across the dome, and then go up. And and even though I've, we're idealizing these sort of uh, very um, sharp here, they, they do all kind of follow that pattern. And for us, even though this isn't to scale, this is good enough for our purposes and to see, you know, reminding us that everything over to the right of the dome is vapor. So everything over here is vapor. Everything over here on to the left of the dome is liquid and then everything in the dome is a two-phase liquid vapor. So this is two-phase liquid vapor and the same thing over on our uh, PV diagram. We have vapor over here. We have everything in this range is vapor. Everything over here is liquid and everything in this dome is two-phase liquid vapor. So I hope this helps. Uh, keep working at it. Um, and